It's Collective Soul on 97X. Dwyer and Michael's in. Good morning, 645. Some afternoon showers today and a high near 45. 53 tomorrow. 37 right now. Let's go to the phones. Utilizing the men in blue who serve and protect. Klinger was given a list of working pay phones in Davenport. Working being the operative word. That was an hour ago. Hello? This is the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> You've got the right station. Good Boy. morning, caller. And we've done a lot of dumb stuff. You're on with the Dwyer Michael Show. This is the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> Where are you? Well, I'm currently checking another gas station that I hear there might be one. Mm-hmm. And driving by, I don't see one. What will, so, what will Klinger need more? Change for a dollar to make a payphone call or a gallon of gas to continue his search for a working payphone. So far, we've got... That's funny. I just did both. You You ran out of gas? I I coasted into the gas station outside the Hy-Vee on West Locust because I ran out of gas and I had to run across the parking lot to go find the payphone. That doesn't work. This is beautiful. This is the third broken payphone. Klinger has found more payphones that are still up, but have some. One was missing the ear piece. Another was missing the handset completely. And now this third one, what? Actually, there was. It's number four because I found another one on my way over. That was broken. Yeah, um, well, actually, they still have the box, but the whole phone's been removed. That was at the gas station across from the poorhouse. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. So that was number three. This is number four. Number four has a working pay phone. It has the receiver. It has the, the whole body of the phone. The numbers dial, and I went and got change. Yeah. I put the change in, go to make the phone call. It tells me there's some sort of error. I'm like, well, maybe it's operator. I don't know. I haven't used a payphone in like what, 20 years. <laughs> so I tried dialing the number, and then and inserting the change. That doesn't work. I try. It says hit star hit star 87 for collect calls. Yeah. Hit star 87. <clears throat> that doesn't work. Your triple eight number doesn't work. So I'm just assuming that that pain phone is is. Well, dial 911 and tell them it's an emergency. I need to call Dwyer Michaels. I would like to report a crime. They're going to cut mm-hmm. my arm off. Yeah. Well, the so first then, thing they'll ask is, is this Michaels? Yeah. So then what? I run back across the parking lot to where I left the vehicle because I ran out of gas. Somebody stole and, it. And there's a, there's a phone outside of the gas station there. All so right. I'm walking up and I'm going, okay, I'm finally going to win this. And the phone, there's a big sticker in red that says, Nine one one only. So um, I didn't touch that one. <laughs> they would have put you through. Hell, you got the men in blue working for you. Yeah. You got them on the dole. <laughs> Listen to him. <sighs> so I, I think I can admit defeat finally. Yeah. Okay. One one thing I've learned in this all this conversation that we had to start the show about payphones is everybody thinks they know where there's a payphone. And it's not there anymore, or it doesn't work. And that seems to be a 100% certainty. Wherever you thought there was a payphone, wherever there was one when you were a kid, wherever you used one to crank call people, it's gone. It's gone, replaced by nothing but sorrow. Well, it's not. It's gone, but it hasn't been replaced by sorrow. It's been replaced by dashed hopes and dreams. (laughs) It's still there, but it just doesn't function. And, like... There must is that like somebody's who owns those? It's not like it's you know AT and T or or who owns the payphones? Somebody must, right? Is it like a vending machine? Like there's a I don't know, like a company that they put it. I mean, they got to run wires to it and electric and all, I mean, there's, somebody's got to be involved, invested in that. Or, or are these all just relics waiting to perish? I think the somebody who is involved was just let go because there's a backlog of phones that need repair. So that's a total of how many six broken payphones that you found. Uh, yeah. Six. We've received one payphone call, and that was barely audible. You could barely hear the guy, and he was calling from inside of Walmart on West Kimberly, right? I believe that was it. Yeah. 
So, all right, Klinger, did you get my text message? I did get your text would message. You, would, you read it, would you read it to the class? I don't remember what it I accidentally deleted it. <laughs> You're not, no, that wasn't on. an accident. It says, <laughs> you're bringing us some sort of tasty food, yes? I don't care what you bring as long as it's a double steak burger from Steak and Shake. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I got no response. No, do the payphones not work? Clinger doesn't work. <laughs> All right. Well, when I got that text, I was I was trying to get this last payphone to work, and, yeah. I, and I just couldn't get it going. I even unplugged it and plugged it back in. Oh, the hard boot. Yeah. Like, oh, it's like yeah. you're going to reset a router? Uh -huh. <laughs> that doesn't work. You, you know, you might be onto something, Michaels. There could be a payphone at Steak and Shake. Yeah. Why don't you go look there? They keep it right where the buns is located, but between the cheese what? and the meat patties. Where's the nearest Steak and Shake? Bro, I can't do all your work for you. Just check on, that, check on the phone book underneath that phone <laughs> yeah, right. and the payphone It's got to be hanging booth. right there. There's one by the, uh, the West Kimberly Walmart where there is a working payphone. Mm-hmm. Either that or your arm. One of the two things are going to happen, my man. I'm sorry. Your mouth, you wrote, you know what the definition of insanity is? <laughs> no, what's the definition of insanity? I have no idea. Uh, before Klinger left the studio, I was you'd know. what was the percentage that Klinger gave you that he could find a 100. Oh, <laughs> was it? Uh, he found many. Listen, he found many payphones. I say, I think Klinger now has a more intimate knowledge of where all the payphones Listen are to, in the here comes the lib. than anybody. The Bettendorf lib <laughs> is opening his yapper again. So you're saying when we do this show for real, yeah. he's going to know right yeah. where to go? The dress Absolutely. rehearsal. <laughs> this, is, this has been going on for an hour. <laughs> all right, Klinger. Please deposit right. 25 more. Listen to him. The tail went down, the ears went down, and the the puppy just wet the, the the carpet. We'll let you go now, my man. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. We'll talk to you later. Don't let it happen again. Goodbye. See you Friday, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've done a lot of good here today. I feel like we've done absolutely nothing. <laughs> I feel like we But it is pretty interesting, and it raises an interesting question. Who is it? Century Link? They don't want to bother with that. They're they're trying to hold on to what they got, keeping phones in people's houses. That's what they should do. They should they should create a new initiative. They need me on the board. They should create a new initiative that every single landline is now a usable payphone. So anyone who still has a landline, they put a sticker in their window of their front of their house, and anybody and everybody is allowed to come in. Drop 50 cents and make a call from that person's home. Okay. Kyle? Yeah? Where are you calling from? Uh, River Drive and Center Station. It's a bus coming on the morning. Since we can't understand you, we must. Uh, you must be on a payphone. <laughs> okay, wait. River, yep. River Drive and what? It's in Moline. It's a bus coming up. The bus terminal in Moline. Okay, and you swear... 1200 River Drive. And you swear yeah. this is a payphone? Yep, I can take a picture of it and email it to you. Okay. Could you drop a coin in so we can hear it register some money? All right, all right, try it. <laughs> Hey, it ain't taking my change. It was hard to call you on it. <laughs> <laughs> it, didn't, it wouldn't take your change. Okay. Hit and, a couple numbers on the keypad for us. <laughs> well, that works. Okay. <laughs> All right, Kyle. Uh, what were you doing prior to taking pity on us and say, I'll end this madness. I'll call them. Move on to something else, boys. What were you doing this morning? Nothing pretty much. Getting ready to go work at noon. Yeah, I, I lost the pool. I had you already at work and taking a break to go do this. Uh, damn. He's five hours ahead of the yeah. start of his shift. Yep. He felt so badly for us. And the answer was, what are you doing right now? The answer was, nothing. Mm -hmm. Just like us. That's surprising, yep. really. Yeah. Uh, do you want to go to the Mallards game Friday? Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> no, I got tickets for you, buddy. I got tickets right. for you. Okay. And I was, I, what, what do you do for a living? Please be a, a payphone repairman. 
I'll call you on my phone, okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah. He, hey, Goose, there's a, there's a call coming in. It's Kyle, and it's for you. He's calling on a cell phone. Years ago, Dwyer and I did this exact same thing. I mean, many, many years ago. <clears throat> Who can call us from one of these? unwired phones, these cellular phones. And you know, the technology was so bad, it sounded exactly like that call sounded just now, and the one before it. It was horrible. But it was equally as rare. Wow, you must be really rich. No, no, I borrowed it from my boss. He's really rich. Yeah. Listen, it's in a bag. I got taken anywhere. This is costing me an arm and a leg, boys. I gotta let you go. All right, so that's on the Illinois side. So we've located two working pay phones and seven broken pay phones in the Quad Cities. <laughs> and I still don't know. Somebody must know the answer. Whose job is it to fix these things or maintain them? Because, you know, somebody, it's just like a vending machine route. There's money to be made, albeit about... Dude, I think from nineteen dollars a month, from the information that we've gathered this morning, it's nobody's job to maintain them. And I mean, literally, it seems like as they are breaking, They're they just are disappearing them? from the landscape, kind of like a deer carcass on yeah. the side of the road. I mean, I just think they, go. I think they get more care. Right. <laughs> <laughs> At least there's a dedicated crew, <laughs> but somebody's got to collect the coins, right? That's that's the whole reason you have it out there. It's not because you. You know what? I just want to provide a service for people who have no way to stay connected to the world. <laughs> 657. We'll take a quick break and be back on 97X. Wire and Michael's Mornings. The Quad Cities Classic Rock Authority. 97X.